Thank you so much to uh, Noreen and Lieutenant Awad. And um, we are just, uh, we're, as many of you know, we are in the middle of the, well, towards the end of the 30-day period of Ramadan, in which Muslims fast from um, sun up to sundown. And this has been the a case with a, the last few um, interfaith centers of New York gala. So we're minutes away as sundown is now at 827, and there's nothing like a hard stop like that. So I want to, in, in just about like three or four minutes, I'm going to invite Suhair Hussani to lead us in the call to prayer, which will be the signal for guests who have been fasting to let them know that they now can break the fast. And you'll see there are some dates on the table, and they will break the fast with the dates. And everyone else is also welcome to have some dates, as long as you really make sure there were dates for people who were actually fasting. And, um, uh, and that will happen in just minutes from now. But in the in-between time, I want to share with you one success story. Because at events like this, you're always asked to say, well, how does your work really make a difference? And how do you know it makes a difference? And I want to share a very short story about how it, our work makes a difference. And I have to go back 14 years, uh, where that's where this story um, starts, where we were doing clergy roundtables with um, in all the courthouses in New York, because we figured clergy need to know more about our justice system. They can't just be there to be be with their congregants that get in trouble. They have to know about what how the justice system works and how it can be helpful. So with the help of Anushavan Margarian, who's here tonight, who spent a lot of time on both ends of the A train and the 7 train, recruiting Hindu, Sikh, Pentecostal, Catholic, Afro-Caribbean religious leaders who wanted to better understand about our justice system, we had a great program there for a while. And recently, it was time to bring it back. And we applied to the um, Access to Justice program in the New York Unified Court System and got turned down. And I was really upset about this. And then I found out why. And the reason was because the courts have adopted the program themselves, which is great news. Because there is, <laughs> there is nothing better than, um, or no better indication of um, flattery than mimicry, I think. So it's a really good sign that our, um, that the programs we were doing also have made an in influence on a major New York City public institution. With that, I'd like to invite Zaheer to come forward.